of Korea and the Japanese Hikaru Tomokuyo. So all Asian final we have here. Japan versus Korea. came in here with four previous fights well Tomo Kiyo came in here with five previous fights well, 41 judoka started this category this is the climax these are the top two fighters here in Naples in the under 81 kilos Two of them just sizing each other out now, trying to get their uh, their favoured hand grip. Oh, second penalty. So already two penalties to Tomokiyo. I think the second one was for sanction of uh, sleep gripping. So there are certain type of sleep gripping you cannot do, and I think that's what it was for. Well, Tomokiyo, fresh from the uh, Asian Pacific Championships, where he won bronze just a couple of months ago. He's going to go one better here, though, whatever happens. Well, Tomokiyo really has to do something and continue his attacks. He cannot afford a third penalty. Oh. A nice, nice throw. Attempt to throw. They avoid it. Oh, he just caught him in the face. There's all that hand action. It's, uh, it's inevitable that it's going to happen sooner or later. That's true. Oh, oh big throw. Big throw. Given a Wazari. And straight into the ground work. So the Japanese from two penalties down is now Wazari up. What a transition there with that six triangle hold. Just can't keep the Korean on the mat he bridges out of that such a powerful escape it was a very strong Soditurikum Goshi from the Japanese earlier scoring him a Wazari just disappeared under his opponent so now he's back in the lead are they going to give score for that? Well, the Japanese tried to counter Lee's attempt to throw, and uh, in the process, he fell onto his own back. I think they're now calling a score. Uh, yeah. Tomokyo continues on the ground. Tomokyo trying to pin the Korean down, and now the and the, the hold is on. Well, the Korean overturned. Tomokio's effort and now the Korean is holding the Japanese down Wow so close hold and counter hold Tomokio started with the pin and then himself got pinned so now you can see that it's a uh, Reverse hold from Lee. One Mazari each. All square, except of course for those two vital penalties that the Japanese have. He can't afford to pick up another one. 
with just a few seconds from this going into golden score and final fight of the night oh right on the clock the Korean coach is calling for Razari whatever the referee decides we shall see Let's see what the referee decides Well, thanks for taking some direction from the judges as well in the in the grandstand. Well, thanks to the replay system, we can, you know, the judges can see it, and they decided not to give a score for that. So we're into golden score with everything level. Korean attempting a throw there. So Japanese wriggled out of it. Tomokyo is down by two penalties, so he absolutely has to win this with another score if he wants to have this fight. Tomokyo is having a good season as well as his success at the uh, Asian Pacific Championships. He won the European Open event in February. He's about to add a medal at the Universiade to that record this year as well. What colour will it be? It's a difficult one to call, isn't it? Mm -hmm. These two are so evenly matched. Both are explosive fighters. Drop throw from Tomokyo. Some fast foot movement there. Yes. He likes to set up with a Kosotogari with his right foot. And then switch to attack his opponent's other leg. And Tomokyo came in with his attack. To succeed. So we've had a minute and 15 seconds of golden score and the two are going to begin to tire. So far Tomokyo is doing very well to avoid getting that third penalty. So I have to remember he started almost halfway into the match. Oh, he avoids that. He came in for, oh. he came in for Big Uchimara. These two are just relentless. Oh, big, big throw. Tomokyo gets the throw in. Oh. Finally, so this pulls it off. What, what a finish. And that gives Hikaru Tomokyo the gold medal in this category. Japan's third gold of the day. Their fourth overall in the judo after two days of competition. And you can see the disappointment on Lee's face. Both men fought so hard. Well, under pressure, Tomokyo pulled off a big Ipon. Almost two minutes into Golden score. And there's confirmation of the gold medal going to Hikaru Tomokyo of Japan. It's been a big day for Japanese judo here at the Universiade. Three gold medals.
you see that's the first throw landing Lee onto the side for the first Wazari from Tomokyo. And this is another action. We're almost landing Lee a score. And this is where Lee manages to hold down Tomokyo for more than 10 seconds for a Wazari. This is the, the action, the golden score, the big Sodi Suri Komigoshi from Tomokyo, which won him the match in spectacular style.